What's going on guys? Sharpshot here. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. So today's video, I'll be doing a no mither tier list where I rank every survivor perk based on how well it works with no mither. This is gonna be a pretty fun tier list because if you guys don't know, no mither is definitely one of, if not the memeiest perk in DBD. Hello guys. Yeah, boy. Are you serious? This is torture. The way it works is that you suffer from the broken status effect for the entire trial, which means you stay injured and can't be healed for the entire trial. And this is obviously really bad because it means you're one shot from the killer the entire trial, so you're super vulnerable. But to try and make up for this, you gain four advantages for staying injured. Your pools of blood are completely suppressed. When you're injured or in the dying state, your grunts of pain are reduced by 75% at tier three. Your recovery speed while you're in the dying state is increased by 25% of tier 3 and the best of all you can fully recover from the dying state as many times you want throughout the trial so in my opinion these four advantages by no means makes up for the fact that you're injured for the entire trial but it is a nice fun little challenge to try out if you're just trying to mess around in dvd so with that being said all the survivor perks can be split up into three categories for this tier list the first category is the perks that work good with no mither which means that these perks get more value out of no mither because they require Require you to stay injured in order to get value out of these perks or they take even more advantage of the four no mither bonuses so an example of a perk in this category would be resilience the second category is perks that work neutral with no mither and this is the majority of the survivor perks in dvd and these are perks that are unaffected by no mither's power so they would work the same whether you run it with or without no mither and an example of this would be sprint burst you can get your exhaustion whether you have no mither or not so it'll have the same value and then finally the third category is perks that work bad with no mither and these are perks that get little or no value at all because of no mither's requirement for you to stay injured the entire trial and an example of a perk in this category would be self-care and then this doesn't really count as the fourth category but i'm gonna put it right up at the top is the no mither category obviously you can't use no mither with no mither you can't use duplicate perks so no mither will be in its own tier for this tier list so with that being said i'm going to be ranking these from worst to best so i'm going to be going from the bad category all the way up to the good category and the perks in each category are to be ranked best to worst going from left to right meaning the perks on the far left are the best out of that category while the ones on the right are the worst and i'll explain this further in each tier but a lot of the perks don't work better or worse than another perk right next to it so the vast majority of the perks are going to be in alphabetical order and won't actually be ranked better or worse than the perks next to them because there just isn't a difference and make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video because i'll also be giving the best build you can run with no mither so yeah without further ado let's get right into the tier list starting with the bad section there's going to be 12 perks that don't get any value at all when paired with no mither and going in alphabetical order these perks are blood rush dramaturgy for the people inner healing light footed overcome reactive healing renewal resurgence self-care solidarity and teamwork collective stealth <gasps> All of these perks either require you to be in the healthy state, healing yourself, or being healed by another survivor in order to get value out of this perk. So to quickly run down why each of these perks don't work at all, Blood Rush, you need to be healthy in order to activate it. Dramaturgy, you also need to be healthy to activate it. For the people, you also need to be healthy to activate it. Inner healing is a perk that gets you from the injured to the healthy state, but you just can't do that. Light footing requires you to be healthy in order to get silent footsteps. Overcome, you can't go from the healthy to injured state to take advantage of a longer injured speed boost reactive healing you can't get a portion of your healing progressed because there is just no healing to progress renewal you can't go from the injured to the healthy state after a hook resurgence you can't go from the injured to the healthy state so you can't get half of your progression already healed self-care you just can't heal yourself solidarity you can gain healing while you're healing another survivor because you're always injured and finally teamwork collective stealth you can't get value out of it because a survivor can't heal you the next perk on this tier is going to be medical of man getting three protection hits while you're in the injured state is just going to mean you're going to go into the dying state so you're basically throwing if you're going to be getting protection hits but you still technically can get three protection hits in the trial to then get that fourth endurance hit so although it is super unlikely you technically still get value out of this perk so it's really bad but it's still possible to get some value the next perk on this tier is going to be plot twist this perk works really bad with no mither because once you go into the dying state and fully recover yourself you'll 
you'll still be in the injured state so you went from injured to injured so it does nothing but it doesn't get no value at all because once you do recover yourself you'll have a haste boost for a few seconds so it technically does get some value and not to mention that if you use no mither and plot twist and the killer runs corrupt you can immediately put yourself into the dying state at the start of the trial to get rid of the corrupt so it does get some value the next perk on this tier is going to be lucky break you still will get the full value out of this perk it'll just get immediately depleted as you spawn into the trial so it's not super useful at all and whenever you do gain back charges for lucky break by healing another survivor the charges will just immediately get depleted as you're healing so you still technically will get full value out of this perk it'll just be super useless because it'll just get wasted right away and finally the last perk on this tier is going to be adrenaline adrenaline works pretty bad with no mither because once you reach end game you won't go from the injured to the healthy state at all but you still will get the really big sprint burst which could be pretty useful and on top of the fact that you can go from the dying state to the injured state right away so you definitely still can get some value out of it it's just that a portion of the perk doesn't get value but the parts that you do get value out of are going to be unaffected so it isn't the worst perk in the world to run with it but it definitely isn't the best at all moving on to the neutral tier these are going to be the rest of the perks in dvd that aren't in the good tier so after you watch the good tier list if there's a perk that you're wondering about that wasn't on the good or bad tier it's in the neutral tier and like i said at the start of this video these are all perks that have no change to their power whether you run it with or without no mither and i gave an example of sprint burst but just to give another example right at the top ace in the hole you'll still be able to get those rare items out of the chest whether you're running it with no mither and you're injured or not the only other perk i will mention on this list is object of obsession it is in the neutral tier because you will get the same amount of value whether you run it with or without no mither the value doesn't get changed but you definitely could argue it does work really bad with no mither because you already are very vulnerable to the killer being one shot so if the killer will constantly be able to see you throughout the entire trial with object of obsession and you're always one shot you're gonna be a very easy target to get tunneled out moving on to the good tier the first perk that's gonna be in this category is iron will it does work slightly better with no mither just for the fact that you're gonna be always injured and always have runs of pain the only reason that it's at the very back of the good tier is because percentages are multiplicative in dbd so the 75 percent of no mither stacked with the 75 percent of iron will doesn't actually make you fully silent it just makes you a teeny bit more quiet if you're pairing both of them so it isn't really that much more useful with no mither so it definitely could be neutral but since it is a teeny bit better i just put it in the good tier the second perk on this tier is going to be pharmacy with pharmacy since you have to be injured in order to fish out a green med kit from a chest and you're always injured with no mither it means that you're always going to be fishing out a green med kit if you search a chest throughout the entire trial so you do get increased value out of this perk when you pair it with no mither by definition this perk does work good with no mither but whether you think that actually improves your trial or not because you do fish out a green med kit every time but you can't use it on yourself because you're always injured with no mither whether you think that's good or bad is kind of up to you the next perk on this category is going to be flip flop flip flop works pretty well with no mither because once you are in the dying state you do recover faster with no mither already so flip flops value will just be increased by that much more because you'll be able to convert that much more wiggle progress from the no mither increased recovery into wiggle progress the next perk on this category is going to be soul guard since you're able to recover yourself as many times as you want with no mither that means whenever you do recover yourself with no mither you're going to have the endurance status effect for a few seconds every time with soul guard and since the killer will know that you can recover yourself if you do end up actually recovering yourself it probably means that the killer is going to be close by it's going to have the chance to down you right away so this gives you an extra hit to actually be able to escape the killer without going down right away again the next perk on this category is going to be tenacity similar to flip flop this perk's value will get increased simply for the fact that you recover faster and can fully recover yourself with no mither and the fact that you're going to be able to do all of that while crawling away from where you had gotten down that means that if the killer leaves you for a few seconds you're going to be able to crawl away from them and maybe even lose the killer which will be able to get you a full recovery you may not have been able to get without it the next perk in this category is going to be unbreakable unbreakable works really well with no mither because not only can you already recover yourself every single time with no mither so you won't be using that part of unbreakable to help you it really shines and it helps you recover even faster on top of the already increased recovery speed with no mither so the 25 percent of no mither stacked onto the 35 percent of unbreakable will make you recover five to 
10 seconds faster, which can definitely mean the difference between getting a full recovery or not. So consistently recovering this will at least get you one or two recoveries per trial that you usually wouldn't have been able to get with base no mither. The next perk on this tier is going to be this is not happening. Although on its own, it's not a great perk. This works super well with no mither because it requires you to be injured in order to get its value. So this means that you'll be able to get this is not happening's value the entire trial. So it maximizes the perks value. You'll be able to get bigger great skill checks for the entire trial. So although that might not be the best value, the fact that you get it 100% of the trial just makes it work super well with no mither. The next perk in this category is going to be dead hard. With dead hard, you have to be injured in order to be able to get value out of it. So the fact that you're injured the entire trial will let you use this dead hard value whenever you want. And this perk works really well with no mither because not only is the perks value maximized and being able to use it whenever you want, it allows you to take two hits in a chase, which basically means you went from healthy to injured. So you're able to get a full chase out of no mither, which no other perk in DVD will allow you to get. Since this perks value is maximized and the perks value is actually really good, if there was a very, very good tier on this tier list, this would be the first perk on it. The next perk in this category or the second perk in the very, very good category is resilience. This is another perk that only gets value whenever you're injured. So with no mither, it pairs extremely well in getting its value 100% of the time. And this value is actually much better than this is not happening. It's allowing you to do basically all actions 9% faster at tier three. So it'll make you a very efficient survivor for the entirety of the trial. Finally, the best perk that works with no mither is made for this. This is another perk that requires you to be injured to get its value. And with no mither, you're going to be able to get this value 100% of the time throughout the trial, which means that this perk's value is maximized. You're just going to be able to run 3% faster the entire trial. So that will definitely improve you in chases by that much more and make you that much harder to catch. And the consistent really good value is what makes this the best perk to run with no mither. And not to mention, if you were to complete a healing action on another survivor, you would get the endurance status effect. So you also would be able to take an extra hit, which allows you to make really risky plays with no mither. And I promise you guys at the end of the video that I would give you the best build to run with no mither. So with that being said, the best build you can run is definitely no mither made for this resilience and dead hard. These three perks in made for this resilience and dead hard all get value only when you're injured. So you're going to be able to get their value 100% of the time throughout the trial. Made for this will allow you to be that much faster and harder to catch in the entire trial. Resilience will just make you that much more efficient in everything you do. And finally, dead hard will be able to make you take an extra hit in your chases. So comboing that with made for this beforehand, it'll be pretty tough to catch with no mither, which is definitely the best build you can run. So yeah, guys, that was the no mither tier list with all of the other survivor perks. Let me know in the comments what your guys' favorite no mither build is, because there are so many perks that are in the neutral category that still would work well with or without no mither. You can definitely make some really good builds out of it. So yeah, guys, that's been the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you're new. This has been Sharp Shot, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.